Hey everyone, I have a cool and interesting video for you today and we're going to combine both because we've got a good, bad, and ugly situation when it comes to the 1.5 model for Stable Diffusion. That's right, the 1.5 version is officially released and if you felt like it was released without a lot of fanfare, well, I can maybe give you some insight as to why. While I can't really explain why stability finds the need to be in the news every single day, what I can say is from what I've gathered, it looks like they have a partnership with Runway ML, which is another machine learning company. One that I actually plan to reach out to for not just this reason, but also because Adobe Premiere is kind of trash. What you're seeing labeled as model.checkpoint is the 1.5 model, and I've compared it here to the 1.4 with the same prompt, same seeds, and all that, so you can see what the difference is between the two. Sometimes it's awesome, other times maybe not so much. It definitely seems to help to have both. The difference between 1.4 and 1.5 is simply the amount of training steps. 1.5 should technically be the same thing but better, but there are some diminishing returns it looks like. When the 1.5 was released, it was released alongside an in-painting model as well. So you're going to want to download that and place that into your folder, making sure to leave the last word as the word in-painting so that it functions. And I'm also going to send you to download something else, which is an encoder. We haven't talked about that at all in this channel, but from my understanding, this is an upgrade. It's directly from Stability, and to get this to work automatically, you just name it the same thing as whatever your model is that you're trying to improve. It was designed for the default Stable Diffusion model, so you can go ahead and use it with the 1.5, and it's meant to give you better results in terms of things like faces, hands, and some of those smaller details. So the big three downloads here is the 1.5 model, the 1.5 inpainting model, and finally, the encoder. Alright, so first off, let's go over this release, because Stability didn't want you to have this. That much is certain. At least not yet. I'm not a lawyer, and I have no idea what's going on with Stability, Runway, or this license, but we have some conflicting information here, it looks like. Now, people who think I'm going to side with Runway just simply because they released the code, okay, maybe. But this statement that Chris here put up shows me that they believe the same thing I do in terms of open source development. I realize I probably have a lot of viewers who aren't really super familiar with open source and licensing. You just want to look at it the same way that nonprofits are looked at. Nonprofit doesn't mean that people aren't making profit. Just like open source may not necessarily mean it's as open as you think it is. Stable Diffusion is a powerful resource, and powerful things are very tempting to hold on to, to want to hoard, and to want to sell to other people. Which is why it's so incredibly important that the people in charge of this stuff act trustworthy. And so far, it's been kind of a circus. I'm just going off of what I've seen, but it looks like based on this, that Runway and Stability are in conflict as to who actually owns this model. When I follow this link from the CIO and I get a sense of the argument that they're trying to make, part of it makes sense, but a lot of it has to do with censorship and the future of AI and how censored it's going to be. There's already a lot of rumblings for people that are complaining about how artists are being hurt by this, or the idea that you can generate illicit images somehow hurts real people. And these concepts aren't actually real. If it sounds just like lobbying, or fear-mongering, or politics, that's because it is. The companies that have tons of money to burn, companies like Microsoft, Spotify, Adobe, they've already purchased entire companies so they can control this future technology. And just like when the internet first came about, what we have is an untamed landscape. We're trailblazing right now. And paranoia about problems that don't actually exist yet is going to only create regulations about things that aren't real problems. Luckily, it's starting to seem more and more like stability and the people in that company aren't really going to be the ones in control of those decisions anyway. Because a ton of counter arguments are being thrown out there, but they detract from the fact that 1.5 is just 1.4 with more training steps. How is it more dangerous? How could it be more dangerous? That makes no sense. The drama and the technology, everything that's been unfolding these last couple of weeks has been absolutely insane. And now seeing a lot of these companies fighting over the technology, fighting over us, essentially. I want to remind everyone to keep an eye out for anyone that might want to take away some of the freedoms that we've been given with this AI stuff, because they're just going to try to sell it back to us later. It would be very hard to believe that this is where the story ends, so I'll probably say, see you next time. As always, thanks for watching.